안녕하십니까? Nicolas Imida, and I just wanted to let you know that we just finished recording, uploading, and subtitling a free six hour WebSocket and WebRTC course that you can take right now for free in our website. On that course, you will learn how we can build real time experiences like a chat room or a video conferencing application using only JavaScript. And for this reason, on today's video, we are going to talk about WebSockets and WebRTC. What are they? How are they different? And what can we use them for? To understand WebSockets, first we need to understand HTTP. HTTP is what browsers and servers use to talk to each other. It's the foundation of any data exchange on the internet. Uploads, downloads, images, documents, pages, anything being sent and received on the internet that is being powered by HTTP. The way HTTP works is very simple. When you go to youtube.com, your browser will send a HTTP request to the YouTube server. The YouTube server will receive this request and it will see that your browser is asking for the homepage. And the server will send a HTTP response with all the code, all the videos, all the data required to make the homepage. That's it. You just learned HTTP. That's how it works. It's very easy. The important thing about HTTP that we have to remember is the fact that after the server replies to the browser with a response, the bond or connection between browser and server is over. This means that the server cannot send anything to the browser after the response happens. Remember, the server can only send data to the browser after the browser requests something. The server cannot just send data to the browser without a request first. So for example, if we were making a chat application, let's say with only HTTP, we would have to tell our users to please refresh the page every two seconds to see if there is a new message. So this is when WebSockets comes in. The WebSocket protocol is not like the HTTP protocol. It doesn't have request and response. Instead, the WebSocket protocol has connections being opened and closed. When your browser connects to a server using WebSockets, a connection will be opened between browser and server, and that connection will be alive for as long as the server and the browser want to. A WebSocket connection is like a phone call, and an HTTP connection is like playing ping pong against a wall. A phone call, for example, is bi-directional. Bi-directional means that I can send and receive messages and the person in the other side of the phone can also send and receive messages. Also, that phone call will be open for as long as we want to until we both hang up. And this is the case with WebSockets as well. With a WebSocket connection, the browser or the server can both send and receive messages from each other at any point in time for as long as the connection is open. With WebSockets, the server doesn't have to wait for a request. The server might send updates to the browser at any point. As you can probably imagine, WebSockets are what chat rooms or stock exchange applications or video games use to have a real-time experience. When you go to a chat room, you're actually not connected to your friends on the chat room. Instead, everybody in the chat room is connected to the same WebSocket server. And when I send a message to the server, the server will then forward that message to everybody on the chat room. But this creates another problem. With WebSockets, the server has to use memory power to basically keep track of all the connections. That means that if we are making a chat room, let's say, the more users we have, the more memory we need and the more money we need to spend to make our server more powerful. Also, we have to keep the server fast because remember, the server is the forwarder. The server receives a message and it will send the message to everybody else in real time. Yes, it's very fast. But if the server has a lot of connections coming, it might have some delays and then the messages will have a lag and maybe the experience wouldn't be so good. Also, if the server crashes, then nobody can talk to each other. So what if instead of connecting browsers to the server, we could instead connect the browsers to each other? This is when WebRTC comes in. WebRTC or Web Real-Time Communication allows browsers to literally connect to each other. And when I send you a message, that message is not gonna go through a server that message will go directly 
to you. That is peer-to-peer -peer communication and that is not all. With WebRTC, apart from being able to send text messages, let's say, we can also send video and audio data. That means that we can build video, audio, and chatting real-time applications right in the browser. And again, the good news is that those messages, that video, and that audio are not going to go through a server. This means that it's potentially going to be faster than having a server because there is no middleman. And again, I am connecting directly to your browser. Now, of course, WebRTC has its problems. Because it's peer-to-peer, -peer, that means that if you are in a video chatting room and there are a thousand people, what that means is that your computer will have to be downloading 999 video and audio, and also your computer will have to be uploading your video and your audio to 999 people. So in this case, WebRTC might be really hard to scale to many, many numbers, but still, it's mind-blowing that we are able to connect our browsers to each other. As you can see, WebRTC and WebSockets unlock so many possibilities of what we can build on the web. Making real-time experiences hasn't been easier and cooler than this before. And the good news is that to use WebRTC and WebSockets, all we need to know is JavaScript. So if you want to learn WebSockets and WebRTC and you want to see how easy it is to make real-time chat rooms and video audio phone calls on the browser using JavaScript, then check out our free six-hour WebRTC and WebSocket course. The link is below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoy the course and I hope I see you there. As always, be happy today. Stay safe. Eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Taranheyo. See you on the next one.